The Walt Disney Company is going to have roughly $400 million sunk into the live-action remake of Snow White by the time it actually gets to theaters. Again, that doesn't even include what is probably going to be an enormous marketing budget. And all during the production of this, Rachel Ziegler has been an absolute PR nightmare for the House of Mouse. And wouldn't you know it, she still can't shut her mouth. Rachel Ziegler, speaking of, let's just do that first since we're on the topic. Rachel Ziegler, uh, God, she can't keep her mouth shut, can she? Um, let's find that tweet uh, because if y'all know the one I'm talking about, if you follow me on X, and I tend to be pretty spicy on X, and I make no apologies for it whatsoever. Rachel Ziegler, if y'all didn't catch this, she, you know, she, she, oh, man, she's really, really stupid. <sighs> Free Palestine, says Rachel Ziegler. <laughs> As she's still trying to refilm a movie where her primary co-star is an Israeli and a former member of the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to be rude, I'd just call her a dumb But um, I already did that on X. <laughs> oh, God. I can't. I just, I can't. I just, the, the, the amount of tone-deaf stupidity and some people said, oh, she's been saying this for a while. I hadn't seen it. This was my first exposure to this. And if she said this a couple of years ago, maybe that was before they started. I don't know. But it just seems it seems really stupid. Why? Look, regardless of what side of this you're on, and those of you that follow me on X, you know damn well what side of this I'm on. I don't pull any punches on it either. Again, this is another one of these boneheaded, stupid things that Hollywood actors just don't need to do. And especially on something that's this hot button right now, especially when there's so much violence involved, especially with that side of things, uh, when it comes to protests, riots, uh, and crazy stuff that, that, that they do, um, probably best to stay out of that. But uh, Rachel, you get the dunce hat this week, or at least one of them uh, for this one. I, I don't know why. Why not? Right. For her. I, it's just what this is. Bad idea. This movie's already in enough trouble. The last thing you need to do with something like this is, is, is give people more reason to just roll their eyes and steer clear of it. Disney had better hope to God that they have enough that or they can generate enough goodwill and interest in this thing over the next six months before it comes out, March of next year. They don't have a lot of time. And they obviously still have a lot of work left to do with this movie. The first trailer for this, the first teaser, should have been Someday My Prince Will Come. That was the signature song. But again, a lot of us wondering, will they even still have that song in the movie? Will we still have One Day or Someday My Prince Will Come? Because that's... that's, uh, that's culturally uh, a no-no nowadays, I guess, even, especially for Disney. We cannot have a, a, a strong whammon longing after love and, and, uh, and her prince. I, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I have a feeling the song won't even be in there or it's going to be altered. I, like they, they made some alterations to the song with Ariel in Little Mermaid for modern audiences, which is to say audiences that don't show up to see it anyway. I saw this today. Who was it that posted this? I think this came from our friend Steph. I think it was, yeah, it was it was Stephanie up here. She posted that a couple days ago, and I was thinking about that over the weekend. And then I think even some other people out there made comments on it. I think, uh, I think that Star Wars girl, Anna, said something about something similar to that. 
So a, a lot of people kind of picked up on that, and it's like, I should have talked about that Sunday. I kind of forgot. I, I don't know what's going to happen to me for playing this, but yeah, don't care. I want you all to see this. So this is a video that was circulating out there. This is the, the Snow White thing. Who knows what's going to happen to me? Let me see if y'all notice anything. She does the whistle while you work song. So I think what I'll do is I'll be cautious and I will not play the sound. Okay. Um, but just so y'all can see the video. So this is obviously somebody's iPhone recording of this, right? So she's, she's teaching them the whistle while you work song. And then, um, I don't remember the original movie that well. But she's having them clean up the house. I thought wasn't Snow White the one supposed to clean up the house? When she moved in with the dwarves, wasn't that kind of part of the deal? Like she she got free room and board, free dinner, and all she had to do was keep keep the house clean, right? It's a fair trade, you know, room and board and meals for labor. <laughs> now she's, I guess she's got the, she's going to have them clean up. I don't remember the original movie, but I, I don't remember the dwarves cleaning the house. I could be wrong. I probably haven't seen it in 30 years, but uh, yeah, she cleans it. I see people, she cleans it with the animals, right? She's the one that cleaned the house. But in this one, look, she's got them sweeping and picking up the dishes. And look, it seems stupid, right? That we're picking on this, but this goes in with the whole mantra that this is a new this is not snow white that we know this is the new version of snow white where she is self empowered and apparently very self entitled no you're going to put me up for free and you're going to clean everything up around me and you're going to feed me and take care of me she's basically like an illegal immigrant did he say that yes i did the original version of this, what we were told when Rachel Ziegler goes out there and said, the original movie is just weird, weird, weird. And, you know, the prince was a creep and a stalker, and she's not going to be looking for her prince. Uh, she's not interested in that. She's learning to become the leader that she really is and all this. You know, her real power lies, and she has to find out how awesome she really is, just like Captain Marvel and just like Ray Palpatine. That's that's what this is the Captain Marvel and Ray Palpatine of of reformed, reimagined classic Walt. Congratulations. Good luck with this movie. Uh, it'll be roughly four hundred million dollars by the time they finish this. And that's before they spend a dime in marketing. Uh, the movie's going to have to make at least one billion dollars in global box office just to break even, which is terrifying. And that's if they only spend $100 million marketing it. I mean, it, it might be two. This is a mess. This is an absolute mess. Anyway, make sure you're subscribed to Valiant Renegade and join us every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern for the live show.